Hey man, you gotta save me from my ex. What? Okay, who's your ex? The one with the scythe. Oh yeah, I see her. Oh sh- she brought a sister. Are they twins? Uh-huh, I dated her too. What? Shh, her other sister's here too. They are triplets? Yeah, I dated her too. What is wrong with you? They all look the same. I get confused sometimes. Oh god, they found us! Hello and welcome back to the Ken O We channel. Today we'll be talking about another Black Widow figure. SH Figure Arts Black Widow from the Black Widow movie. This is like the fourth Black Widow in the lineup. And there's another one coming up. So let's find out if you should be forking out your hard earned cash for this particular Black Widow figure. Can't deny, this figure looks good. Beautifully sculpted face, nice clean lines on the figure, textures on the suit, the usual figure arts metallic paint finish on the gold, I mean she's got it all. However, this figure has the exact same mold as the previous release. All the curves on her body are the same, right to the size of a booty. And the final proof to my theory, their heads are interchangeable. Aha! Does this change the fact that this figure looks good? <gasps> no. I mean, what can I say? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It is a good looking Black Widow figure. You just need to know what you're getting yourself into with this purchase. Here are a few poses to demonstrate the extent of this Black Widow figure. Since they are essentially using the same figure mold from the endgame figure on this one, and there are no design additions that limits her articulation, you are pretty much getting the same thing as before other than the head for this figure getting more freedom because there's no ponytail tucked to the side. So if you're interested in finding out about her articulation, check out the endgame figure review I've done. For her accessories, the usual face punching hands, face grabbing hands, hand shaking hands, gun wielding hands, weapon wielding hands, and a pair of hands with shooting effects, which is new, which is good. She comes with her usual pair of guns and interchangeable holsters, the usual pair of batons, and one scythe weapon, which is new, which is good, but only one? Gotta watch the movie to verify this. It's the same to equip all of these. Remove top from handle and put handle into hand and close. One good thing to report, if you had the previous Black Widow figures, then you can have this figure wielding the other weapons as well. And here is the SH Figure Arts Black Widow from the Black Widow film standing next to other action figures for scale comparison. So in summary, the bad. If you're expecting something totally new, then you're going to be left disappointed. Still wish she had the bicep twist. The good. Still a great figure overall in terms of sculpt, articulation, and plenty of accessories to play with. Can't deny the fact that Black Widow figures get some love from Bandai, and this figure is no exception. And it's a great purchase if you don't already have the endgame figure. I'd rather get my hands on the white suit version. You know it's coming. Just you wait. That concludes my review of this figure. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. We really appreciate it. If you could hit that like and subscribe button, let me know your thoughts about this figure in the comment section down below, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care. Click here for video one. Click here for video two. Click here to subscribe. Click it. Thank you for watching. Arigato. Thank you.